Hello, welcome to The Blessing Report. In this video, we're talking about sleep paralysis. Why can't I move my body? Why can't I speak or scream in spiritual warfare? So hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on your bell notifications. And if you're new here, I'm Winston Mayo. This is The Blessing Report. So let's get to the show. Demons like these, they creep in the night. Can't even sleep in the night. One on my left, got one on my right. Won't let them look in my eyes. Soon as I wake up, I'll be summertime. Welcome to The Blessing Report, the channel for comedy and conviction, entertainment, and edification. I'm Winston Mayo, the regular Christian guy, and we're getting into all new videos and kicking off this new video. We're going into spiritual warfare, sleep paralysis, and why can't I speak, scream, or move my body? So let's get into it. So I know usually when I start my videos, I start from the natural um, aspect with um, background, but I think that sleep paralysis um, and an inability to move while sleeping is so spiritual in nature that I'm just going to get into the depth, into the meat of um, things. So. I think a lot of us have had um, sleep paralysis where we're in that state of being almost awake or you might actually be fully awake but coming out of sleep or you're in a dreamlike state and in the dream your mouth is covered and um, you are unable to move your limbs or get up and it also um, seems to usually be paired with fear. So I want to get um, straight into the scripture and the scripture for today mainly is Ephesians 6, um, 2 Corinthians 10, 2 Timothy 1. All right. So Ephesians 6, um, starting with verse 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle against not flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, against rulers in um, the darknesses of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that you may stand against um, the evil day. And having all to, uh, you have been done to stand, stand therefore, um, having your loins girded with truth, and having the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace and above all take up the shield of faith um, wherewith you shall be able to quench the fiery darts of the wicked and take on the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of god and we see this with um, sleep paralysis that usually it is demonic visitation from a demon a devil or a witch um, we're going to pair that with 2 Corinthians um, chapter 10, verses 3 through 5. And for we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh, for our weapons of warfare are not carnal, they're not natural, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds and casting down imaginations, every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought in the obedience of Christ. And last verse, 2 Timothy 1 verse 7, for God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. So beware of things that leave you open to attack. And um, this would happen um, usually, um, I, I'm harping on um, 2 Timothy verses 1, where God has not given you the spirit of fear. And I know certain translations lose the weight of that, but we have to acknowledge that um, you can have visitation from spirits, demons, devils, and witches, um, anybody involved in the occult or um, astral projection able to like leave their um, vessel, their temple. Um, in their body and do this because they are engaging in the satanic, in the demonic, and in witchcraft. Um, but just note that there can be demonic influence with not um, demonic possession. So um, things can be in proximity, but um, you have the covering, you have the Holy Spirit um, being your refuge and your fortress. Um, so 
you just have to know like, hey, what is this? And if you have noticed any time you have had sleep paralysis, you say the name of Jesus and then you can speak again. <laughs> um, that's not um, a coincidence. And this is why the Bible says in the gospels that um, at the name of Jesus, demons tremble. All right. And um, we're actually going to get into the things that can leave you open uh, for demonic visitation um, and satanic presences to come into your proximity, um, even though they're unable to come into your um, exact vessel. And this is in the mindset that you are a Christian filled with the Holy Spirit, baptized with fire and the baptism of spirit being reborn again. If you are not Christian, you can definitely be demonically possessed because you are housing either the spirit of God or unclean spirits. So the first one I wanna do um, is the big one, um, prayer and Bible study. Um, sleep paralysis and an inability to speak, move or scream um, is a direct result of a lack of prayer and Bible study um, in those two main areas. And why is this? And to begin, we're going to um, do some prophecy, some revelation, also some dream interpretation, because oftentimes the scariest part is the fact that you cannot talk. And um, why is talking important? Um, let's check out the full armor of God and where words fit into the armor. Um, what is the sword of spirit? The sword of spirit is the word of God. And we pair that with John 1, 1 that says in the beginning was the word, the word was with God and the word was God. And uh, we have to note that the sword of spirit being the word of God is our only offensive weapon in the armor of God where everything else is made for protection or defense, all right? And then we go to the um, other uh, components with being the shield of faith. We pair that with uh, what we know about faith in Romans 10 that says faith comes by hearing and hearing comes by what? The word of God. And then um, we just go into the other aspects. It's the belt of truth, all right, truth. Um, the word of God is true. I'm um, shod in the preparation, the gospel of peace, the gospel. And then the helmet of salvation, uh, with salvation um, coming at his word and his spirit. And um, lastly, uh, we pair that with 2 Corinthians um, 10 verses five to, the, um, to six. Casting down imaginations, every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing to captivity through the obedience of Christ. And lastly, we pair that with Romans 12, which says um, we must renew our minds. So if we um, do our primary focuses on the sword and the shield, uh, we see that by not uh, reading your Bible, you are completely stripping yourself uh, from your only offensive weapon being the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, but your primary defensive um, component, which is the shield of faith. So that comes as an extension of a lack of Bible study and a lack of prayer. Um, additionally, um, if you see in sleep paralysis, um, with dream interpretation, it's important to know that dream interpretation only comes by filtering out by the word of God. You have to um, pair it with scripture, otherwise you're just making stuff up in prophecy and revelation. But what we see is that sometimes in the dreams where you cannot speak, um, you also have like no teeth. And um, this is important because um, in a worldly concept, they'll determine like, oh, if you lose your teeth, then that's something superficial, you don't like the way you look. But what is the functionality of teeth? Teeth are in the use of eating. Um, what is a primary food? Um, in the Bible, we have 
the Word of God considered the bread of life, but also the Word of God in 1 Corinthians 13 says that um, when we move from babes having milk, no need for tea, um, you move to meat, you actually need tea. Um, so this is how you can leave yourself open to demonic visitation and demonic influence because of your lack of Bible study and your lack of prayer, right? Um, second, how you can leave yourself open to sleep paralysis, demonic visitation, to the satanic and the occult witchcraft, whatever. A lot of you take in a lot of demonic and satanic content. So this is um, demonic movies, music, television, anime, cartoons, and you wonder why you're being visited by demons. So if you engage in um, activities um, that are spiritual in nature, um, engage in yoga, um, crystals and um, diamonds, um, there's another, oh, soothsaying and fortune telling, zodiac signs and astrology, you are opening yourself up to the demonic by co-signing them naturally in your activity, um, mentally in your thought and your belief system, but also spiritually um, through your words um, that you're doing. And we see this in 1 Corinthians 10 verses 20 and 21 that says clearly not to participate with demons. You cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of demons. We are carriers, we are temples, we are vessels for either the Holy Spirit being filled, you are filled um, through prayer, through Bible study, but if you also join the things of God to the things of the devil, you are opening yourself to unclean spirits, to the demonic, to the occult, and to witchcraft. All right, and um, I think it's a good transition to my point three. Um, you can open yourself up to um, demonic possession um, or visitation because of rebellion and sin, um, transgressions and iniquity. But mainly I want to do um, rebellion because the Bible teaches that rebellion is the sin of witchcraft. So uh, why is this important? If you are um, rebelling um, against God, um, most clearly, but sometimes we uh, rebel against the sovereignty of the people around us at our church, um, our local body, um, our headship, um, even naturally um, police or our teachers or uh, our parents. You are open yourself to witchcraft because you are rebelling. And so um, that is, I guess, like the last um, point I want to make that um, is prayer and Bible study. Um, a lack of it, demonic um, activity, um, your content um, and your recreation, but also sin and rebellion being the sin of witchcraft opens you up to sleep um, paralysis, demonic visitation, and the satanic and the occult. Um, so just note that um, those are open doors, but you also have open doors if um, you engage in a lot of spiritual warfare, so you're on a prayer ministry, on a worship team, you're a pastor um, preaching, or um, you engage in intercession, uh, one of those teams like altar calls, and you just um, been slacking, um, or you've been um, engaging in some type of witchcraft, um, like false prophecies, or lying, um, um, I don't know, anything where you are doing things out of the flesh. Um, this is how um, people in the Bible were able to um, make snakes and make serpents um, when they were challenging Moses or um, there's a, a, a demonically possessed woman um, in Acts that follows Paul. Um, there are witches, there are sorcerers in the Bible and they are able to access a power that is outside of God. So if you're accessing a power outside of God, then you're opening yourself up to witchcraft. Or if you're just engaging in a lot of spiritual warfare and you're kind of like slacking um, in a way, uh, maybe prayer or Bible study or your tithes and offerings, like something where you're stealing from God or something where you're doing something dishonest um, in a kingdom setting. Um, 
that opens you up to witchcraft and to the occult. Um, so just be aware of those things. Um, so what should you do <laughs> if this is a thing, all right? Um, declare the word of God over you. Um, uh, good prayers um, to do are actually the Bible, right? So um, I don't even want to do that one. I want to do um, Ephesians 6, like put the full armor on you, like put it on the breastplate of righteousness, the helmet of salvation. Um, Every um, spiritual move can be triggered by a physical act. So um, doing those sorts of things, you can um, shield yourself. Always go to the name of Jesus, the word of God in the name of Jesus. Um, so plead the blood. Um, if you have engaged in um, some type of activity, repent of that and receive your deliverance uh, from James 5. Um, confess your faults one to another uh, with the laying on of hands. So holy oil is also cool, um, may or may not be um, necessary, um, but also prayer and fasting with Bible study is so good um, because it heightens the Holy Spirit to burn on the inside of you. And I'm glad I remember this. Remember that um, angels are our co-laborers in the gospel and in ministry. You can call on um, angels to help. And so just know um, what you're warring against. It isn't flesh and blood, but um, principalities, um, unclean spirits, fallen angels. Um, so we have the God that has the strongest of angels and he is over the strongest of angels. So um, just remember what we have and um, yeah, I think that is um, everything. So make sure um, you're pleading the blood of Jesus over you. And, um, just know um, with first, uh, second Timothy 1 and 7 uh, has not given you a spirit of fear. So know your authority that you have dominion, you have authority because what does God give you? Power, love, and a sound mind. So uh, faith and um, Fear cannot dwell in the same vessel. So just know like Jesus already defeated everything um, spiritual on the cross. So by his blood, we are covered. We are um, shielded and we are guarded and protected. So we shouldn't be afraid of spiritual warfare or their cold or anything satanic or demonic because what does the Bible say? Demons tremble at the name of Jesus. So um, don't um, take part in things that are demonic and the things that are um, divine because uh, 1 Corinthians 7 says like, what is the fellowship of righteousness or unrighteousness? What do um, like demons and like God have in common with communion? So they shouldn't have a communion or a fellowship in your body or in your house. So um, even anoint your house um, if you're concerned about that. Make sure you're not engaging in any witchcraft stuff like zodiac signs, astrology, voodoo is really strong, the occult, um, the messianic, that sort of stuff. And that's all my information. We strong in the Lord, demons can't touch us, um, be about it. And um, that's my time. And I wanna hear from you, um, what has been your experience with sleep paralysis, not being able to move, not being able to speak. What was like your state, your spiritual state? Um, were you engaged in some type of sin or was there anything in your bloodline, in your lineage, any type of curses? Or um, were you taking in like a lot of demonic scary movies or um, haunted houses? Cause I know Halloween is about to come up. So if this video has been informative to you, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on those bell notifications. We're trying to do new videos every Friday, so we're just gearing up for the new season by just doing kind of like daily videos um, to kick off the season. So connect with us on social media. That is Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, at The Blessing Report on all those social media platforms, and come back um, all the time at 7 p.m. There should be uh, music review, comedy video, or something. And remember that all the um, descriptions and the important stuff like Bible verses are in the description box below on the music I'm playing. So click down there. And also let me hear back from you in the comment section. And remember that this video has been brought to you by my books, Searching for Land, and then my newest release, 
the science of salvation, the manual for manufacturing and manipulating faith. If you want to um, really know about spiritual warfare, really read this book right here. It's all like a prophetic knowing of the demonic, the satanic, and the occult and messianic in the church settings and the church walls. So I just, um, thank you for watching and um, yo, thank you. <laughs> I'm just really grateful right now. And I just um, bless you. I speak um, a word over you that the full armor of God is upon you. Um, in Christ, by his blood, by his name, by his word, and by the power that lives on the inside of us that resurrected and defeated the devil um, and brought him, I mean, brought us out of death and defeated death. So um, remember, go out and live your life, but remember that God blesses people by using people to bless people. So how have you been a blessing today? Thanks for watching. Demons like these, they creep in the night Can't even sleep in the night One on my left, got one on my right Won't let them look in my eyes Soon as I wake up, I be some of They tryna hit my own life Struggles tell me how to fight And I feel like passing the night